what is going on? So, you may have watched the Thunder Swamp Trail video, which I'm currently recording. You might have wondered, <laughs> where's the hammock? And since I'm trying to do uh, the backpacking videos right now, a little less talking because uh, I've been talking a lot in videos. Uh, figured I'd do this kind of companion video. Just kind of explain what's going on here. So this wasn't a malfunction. Nothing bad happened. Um, I just didn't bring a hammock. Uh, I wanted to test this uh, this tarp. This is my uh, hammock mountain outdoors all rec tarp. It's made from Dyneema. And uh, for a while now, I've wanted to do something different. Something that wasn't <clears throat> hammock camping, something that wasn't my typical backpacking. And uh, I thought about just bringing a tent. And then I thought, well, why don't I see what would happen if I had to go to ground? Could I use my tarp as a shelter? So I didn't give myself a choice. <laughs> I just didn't bring a hammock. Um, so let me show you what I got set up here. On the ground, I forget how heavy this is. This is a pretty heavy. Um, I think it's TU coated. Thermal something applied. Coated. Rip stop. <clears throat> it's pretty heavy. It's like 1.9 or, or 2 ounce, so it's really durable. It's waterproof. I just hemmed up the ends and put some tie outs on it, which I only use that one tie out. And I made it way too long. It's like 9 feet. It does not need to be 9 feet. Um, but I threw that down on the ground, and then I staked this out, the tarp, just right to the ground. at the, not the far corners, but at the, uh, like the, the one quarter in tie-outs, all the way around. And then the far corners, the square corners, are brought in here, are brought in here to create a door or a wall on this side and a door at that side. And I could have used my trekking poles. I'll sneak you guys up in the open here. And hopefully, from inside, I can give you a shot of what I did. You can probably kind of see that. I just ran the ridge line. Just tied the ridge line off to the trees on either side. I could have set the poles up and just tied the rope over and down to the ground. But I had trees available, so I did it that way. And it worked really well. Um, it kept all the falling leaves off me. There was no precipitation last night, but I'm pretty sure it would have kept me dry. Um, it wasn't the warmest thing in the world. It got down to like 34 or something last night. Um, it didn't, didn't get to freezing, but got close. And, uh, <clears throat> so it was chilly. I mean, it would have been a little warmer in a tent, but I'm using this East Hills outdoors down sleeping bag that, um, they sent me last year to test. And I never, I got out for like one test. And it was like 52 degrees and it was really warm. Um, at first I wasn't real happy with this last night because I was getting a little chilly, but it was breezy and there was air blowing across. But once the wind died down, it was pretty good. And then inside, I think is the other problem. The other reason why I was unhappy. I put my, there it is. I put my uh, sleeping pad inside. So you can see how kind of stretched 
stretch out this sleeping bag is so the down is getting kind of compressed. Um, but once I kind of got into position where the down stayed lofted, I stayed warm. I, I didn't freeze. Um, I don't want this to go down to 15 degrees like they say. Uh, 32, 30, somewhere high 20s might be its its, its lower limit. Um, but it worked. My entire pack weight was only 23 pounds, which is um, key <laughs> because it was a little brutal getting here yesterday. Um, the Thunder Swamp Trail is kind of weird the way it's shaped. It is like a main loop. And then at the northwest corner, there's a, a, a lollipop <laughs> that comes off and it goes up and out to another loop. And I was going to try to do the whole thing. I, I'm doing it clockwise. Well, to you guys, it would be clockwise this way. And the northwest loop would be up here. So I started out at the southern end. Um, I came up around the outside. And then over near that kind of stone wall and bridge crossing at Saw Creek, um, just past that, uh, there's a, a sign for, um, I had a Luke road one way and then, um, painter swamp the other, a painter swamp is that little lollipop. And I was going to go that way, but at that point I was already at, I think 10 miles or 11 mile, 10 and a half miles, somewhere around there. And to get up to the only campsites I know that are up there would have been four to five miles from that point. And I really wasn't looking to do 15 miles. And as I thought about it, I'm like, I've never tested this, this setup. And if this doesn't work, and if this doesn't work, it's going to be a miserable night knowing it's going to be that cold. So I decided to skip the lollipop and come back down. And I, there's a campsite right by Lake Minnesink. And that wasn't quite far enough. It was still pretty early. At that point, I, I stopped for lunch. It took like an hour for lunch. And I, I got going. By the time I got back on the trail, it was quarter after three. It was still a little too early to, to break. And um, I was like, eh, I'll keep going. There's There's got to be another campsite somewhere along here. And I hiked... And I hiked and I hiked and I hiked and I hiked. I am back to the campsite that Dragon Panda and I came to in the winter uh, when we came out here and we were going to do the, we were going to stay overnight, but the temperatures dropped too much. And um, we decided just to bail. And uh, the wind picked up and the temperatures dropped way more than we thought. And uh, we, we just took off. So we kind of got camp set up. And then we hiked out at night. Um, I'm back to that campsite. It was, I have did 17, let me see what this says. 17.7 miles I did yesterday. It was 18 miles. I, <laughs> way further than I wanted to go. Way further. Um, so this was, <laughs> this was risky. Just in, for, to a comfort, not, not dangerous, like I was in any danger, but for comfort, it was risky because I didn't know. I haven't slept in the ground since I tested this thing last year. And, and that was on my big three-inch Teton sleeping pad in my tent, um, you know, 300 feet from my car. <laughs> so I got here and I was like, I don't care. I just threw this thing down. I was tired. I was hungry. I was cranky. And I just threw this thing down and got in at 6.30. It was dark when I set it up. Uh, sunset at 6. The mount, the sunset behind me. So it, it was dark down. It was relatively dark down here. Um, I got set up. I never even made dinner. I just ate some of my snacks. I laid down at 6.30. I haven't gotten up except for once to go to the bathroom overnight. <laughs> it's quarter to nine. <laughs> I just, I haven't moved. I was exhausted. 
which is good. I haven't really worn myself out like that on a trip in a long time. Um, the Thunder Swamp Trail is notoriously hard to follow. Um, and I've done parts of it, and it's it's been rough in some areas. But um, it looks like the Keystone Trail Association is, I don't know if they've always maintained this or if they just started maintaining it, like the Pinchot Trail. They took that over. And this was pretty well blazed. I didn't have any problems getting my way through. Um, there were a few spots where there's some trees across, um, which is one of the reasons why I decided to go to ground on this trip because um, this is kind of a hard trail to find a good spot to kayak. A good spot to hammock. Sorry, woke up, haven't eaten anything. Good spot to hammock. Um, like we did it here, we were able to find a spot to, to set up three hammocks, but it was it was close. Um, and there's a lot of, um, I think there's a lot of ash out here and ash trees. And we're, we've got those emerald ash borers. The whole ridge up on top has been forced. It, it's pretty much clear up there. Um, so, um, down trees, nowhere near as bad as Chuck Hyper Trail. Nothing like that. But just every once in a while, I come across a tree across the trail. But aside from one or two spots where I just stopped paying attention, I, I kind of looked around like, oh, am I still on the trail? Um, because of it's fall, um, for the most part, the leaves are off the trees. You can kind of see through the tarp here. And the colors are gone. Mostly. Which will happen at the end of October. Um, so all the leaves are on the ground. And it's kind of hard to follow where the trail is supposed to be. And the, the hardest part of the whole hike has been you can't see the rocks. Because of all the, the leaves. So there was a lot of slipping and misstepping and stuff yesterday which sucks but it is what it is it's not any fault of the trail maintenance it's just the way the ground is here um but i i actually i really enjoyed it there's not a lot of views but it's beautiful forest beautiful beautiful forest um i've only seen one other person hiking um he was going the other way i saw him just as i maybe a mile past where no it had to be it was at 13 miles so i saw him at 13 miles and he was he was sitting on the side of the trail having something to eat and we were talking and he's like these rocks <laughs> he's like these are your ankle breakers and i was like yeah it's pennsylvania so we talked for a little bit other than that um I, i've seen a few hunters out and that's it that's it so good trip i know i've only got about two and a half to three miles to get back to the car <laughs> so the trip's pretty much done but i'll probably record a little bit out I'll just give you a day two obviously you actually already know that if you've seen that the video because this will go out afterwards no malfunction just me trying something new and um it gives me other options so i was laying here last night i was thinking oh I need to make myself a Dyneema tent. Because this thing is light. And this is... I've got to lay in a diagonal underneath here. Because of the, where the corners are. But, um... So light. This thing weighs nothing. <laughs> it's too cold to get up. But I got to. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this... Kind of, uh... In the middle of the hike. After the hike video. Um... I hope we got some more backpacking trips coming up. Who knows? I'll probably be in a hammock. Because this is comfortable, but I'd rather be in a hammock. But I have been on the ground for 14 hours, so. <laughs> Time to get up. See you next.